everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Galaxies.dev with a quick analysis of the State of JavaScript 2022 survey results. Almost 40k people took part in the survey, so let's explore the interesting pieces. First of all, JavaScript developers seem to be very happy with the general state of web technologies and also the general state of JavaScript with quite good results. Besides that, it looks like JavaScript developers pretty much stick to the basic functionalities. They only know knowledge coalescing pretty well. Everything else here are things that are not really used by a lot of developers, especially WebAssembly. That means there are tons of great features in JavaScript available and in browser APIs available, but most JavaScript developers actually don't know them or don't use them yet. Because it's a JavaScript survey, it does doesn't surprise me that JavaScript is mostly used for front-end development. However, people saying that JavaScript can't be used on the back-end, well, there are like two-thirds of the people also using it for back-end development and one-third using it for mobile apps. So you can definitely use JavaScript in every environment. And speaking of backend frameworks, Express completely dominates this category way ahead of Nest, Festify and all the other somewhat popular frameworks. One of the most basic findings is that TypeScript finally overtook JavaScript in usage. So if you are using JavaScript, that's cool. But if you are still on the fence against TypeScript, come on. It's 2023 and you should really embrace TypeScript. A category that's probably not surprising but still interesting is application patterns and number one slot is of course taken by SPAs, single page applications, because JavaScript developers over the last years mostly build SPAs. Both server-side rendering and multi-page application also have a very high score, which is really interesting, but I also think that most people actually don't know if they're using something like partial hydration, multi-page application, island architecture, edge rendering, progressive hydration. So some people might not really be aware of the patterns they are using, but I expect those fancy things down here to get a lot more votes in the next year. Speaking of trends, the trends for some of the mobile tools doesn't really look promising. Especially Cordova is completely on downward trend and you should really not use Cordova in the future. However, also Capacitor had a substantial drop and also Ionic is somewhat on a downward trend, which makes me kind of sad. However, if we look at the same chart and use the awareness filter, we see that People actually don't really know about tools like Capacitor, Tori, or even NativeScript, while React Native and Electron are completely known to pretty much everyone. So that means there's still hope. One thing that is no surprise but actually super interesting is how unbelievable stable Next.js is. It comes here at the top and it pretty much stays at that percentage in terms of retention. It is only topped by Astro and SwelteKit, but if you look at the usage, you're gonna see that Next.js completely dominates this space. I've said this before, if you wanna get a stable job, learning React and learning Next.js is probably currently the best and safest way to get a job as a developer. The awards category is interesting because the most adopted technology, the highest retention and also the highest interest, all three categories go to Veet. It's almost shocking how popular Veet has become over the last years and it is definitely here to stay. So there's really no way around Veet and you should definitely get started using it. It is a great tool for pretty much everything on the front end side of your project. The most interesting category is probably the war between the different frameworks and who's gonna come out on top, which in the past was usually React, but we see Solid and Swelled and even Quick now overtook React in terms of retention. This actually doesn't surprise me a lot because libraries and frameworks like React, Angular, Vue, which have been around for quite some years, usually decline after some years when people discover all the problems they get in reality with those frameworks, while Solid, Swelled and React are still pretty new to people. However, this chart looks kind of different if you filter by usage, because then you're gonna see that Angular is actually pretty stable in Vue as well, so React, Angular and Vue are still the three most used JavaScript frameworks. In terms of interest, nothing currently tops Swelled and it has been like this for the last years, but Solid is on the rise as well, it is only topped by Quick. This will be interesting because I think a lot of React developers might easily adopt Solid while they not easily adopt Swelled, so I expect Solid to rise even more over the next years. Nonetheless, this will be interesting to see how React changes over the future given the new approaches of Solid, Swelled and Quick, which challenge the status quo and introduce new ideas into web development. And finally, the last finding in terms of rendering frameworks, a category which was introduced basically in the state of JS survey the first time, 
Astro is number one. And it's not just number one in terms of retention, it's also the number one in interest. The usage has increased a lot of Astro, so Astro definitely got a lot of awareness, a lot of attention, a lot of news last year, and I really expect this to continue this year. This actually doesn't surprise me because Astro is really a meta framework in which we can use React, Vue, Swelt, and other frameworks together, which makes it an unbelievable interesting tool for so many developers out there. And I'm sorry to say, static site generators like Gatsby and Eleventy are kinda out of fashion, and I guess this is because tools like Next.js, Sweltcode or Astro pretty much allows to do the same thing, but without running a specific static site generation tool. So if there's just one tool you want to try after the survey, it should be Astro because this looks like we're going to see a lot more of Astro over the next year. But to sum it up, here's the take from Rich Harris, the creator of Sweltkit. Here's to another year of productive rivalry to make the web better. And I think if we can embrace these ideas that everything we see in these charts is just healthy for the JavaScript ecosystem in terms of growth, new ideas and new frameworks coming up, then I think we can all be happy about the current state of JavaScript. Let me know in the comment what you think about the state of JavaScript survey, hit the subscribe button and also of course check out galaxies.dev if you want to stay up with everything bleeding edge, cutting edge in the web development space. And of course, happy coding, Simon.